I just press the button. And then I get an audible tone to say your arms come on. Straight away, it said the elbow gets connected. Andrew Garthwaite's story is already remarkable. After his arm was blown off in Afghanistan, he was the first soldier from the UK to have a bionic arm fitted. And then he could ride his bike after another arm was made for him. But the soldier's story is becoming even more extraordinary. He's about to have pioneering surgery, a reconstruction of his nerve system so that he can operate a bionic arm by thought control. And now Andrew's come here to Vienna for a groundbreaking operation. Surgeries that the doctors here hope will mean that in the end, Andrew should be able to operate his bionic arm using just his mind. Andrew will be one of the few people in the world to have the operation. So to find out what it will be like, we visited Robert Schleif from Austria. He had the nerve surgery six months ago and is learning to operate a bionic arm by nerve control. See, now he flexes. Now he thinks that. He thinks of flexing the elbow and the elbow flexes. Now he couldn't do that six months ago. Now I, I tell him, for example, to, uh, to open the hand. Hmm? Hand zumachen. Und jetzt versuchen noch ihn zu drehen. Perfect. Wow. How much does it mean to you to have some of that feeling back? Is this for Sie unangenehm die Berührung? He says that that, that that makes a huge difference to him. Yeah. And these boys made world headlines when they chose to have their own hands amputated and bionic ones fitted. With with a, with a new hand, yes. it's 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 really it's. 100% better than, than before. I don't call it my prosthesis, this is my hand. And I think that says very much how much integrated this piece of technique is in my body. Well, I've come to Otto Bock to meet the biomedical engineers who are working closely with the surgeons at the hospital. And I wanted to find out from them just how it will be that Andrew's mind will control his nerves, which will control his arm. He can use, the, the, let's say, the same uh, muscles or same nerves as he used before with the, his sound hand. And the nerves generate the muscle signal. The electrodes pick up the signal and the hand will move. So the operation should mean, far from being robotic, his arm movement should be natural. But first he needs that six-hour surgery to rewire his nerves into his chest. What this means is that we take all the nerves that originally went to his arm and reroute them into muscles of his chest so that eventually then when he thinks of moving his hand, moving his arm, moving his fingers, the different muscles on his chest wall will then start to fire. And then it'll take about four to six months after that for it start to retrain my brain so my hand will start growing on my chest, well it'll feel as if it's growing on my chest and then within 18 months I should be sort of an expert at this arm.